All right, guys, welcome to this week's episode of Den of the Silver Fox. I'm your host, Cagney, as always. And returning, we got some of the OG3. Jake's here. Wow! Landon. Hello. And Tor returning. Yee yee. And then we have our little puppy running around that you guys might hear trampling around. This week, we're going to talk about one of our favorite actors, The Rock. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh. Rock me, daddy, so on and so forth. No. Mm. <laughs> the solid <laughs> man. <laughs> That is a man right there. That is a he, he is a man. man. I, I would Do consider you know him a man. Rock has a twin brother named Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funnier memes I've ever seen. Yeah, memes. People actually thought that was a thing. Yeah, a lot of people did. It so. was fucking funny. I'm glad he's getting this the screen time. Oh well, I guess recognition. The screen time that he deserved because I thought the first time I ever saw him in anything. Big. I don't know if it was his first film, but he was he played the Scorpion King in the Mummy Two, and he was in the beginning of the film for about That's four and a half yes. days. I forgot and then about they never, that. And then they didn't even put him actually in in the end. He ended up being this weird monster thing, which I thought was which was a huge oversight on the side of the studio. Who they were probably like, we need to CGI the hell out of this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is regarded as one of the worst CGI makeovers of all time. It's terrible. Yeah. it looks like some PlayStation One graphics. That was his Holy first starring God. role, though. That really was. Damn. Because he had just quit. Little little history. Everyone knows he played football down in I Florida. Know. What did he, wait, he played football? So he, after graduating high school, because obviously the dude was a fucking monster. Yes. Even at 16, I think he was like 215 pounds or some shit like that. Big boy. He played got football. Them, got them Samoa genetics. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. He it, want, he's Hawaiian, or he's from Samoa. So, I, I think it's, so it's a rock. rock. Little, little history. His grandfather, um, Mr. Maivia, was a professional wrestler. Mm-hmm. Um, he went to Rocky something, right? This is his he went Rocky Maivia. Yeah, that's right. Was his uh, stage name, I believe. Mm-hmm. And his dad was a African American professional wrestler. That's how you know he met you know uh, Maivia's daughter. And that's how they got started. And then obviously had the Rock. And then you know him being a third generation you know wrestler, wrestler obviously was kind of in the bag. Because he went to college football playing for the University of Miami. All right? Oh, shit. Oh, it was a hurricane? Oh, yeah. Won a national championship back in 91 with them. Well, Had he f- won it. Nobody helped. Yeah, no, he he's never seen his movie. He all individually himself. Individually won it. All yeah. himself. Running down the field. It was a bad case of food poisoning and the rest of the hurricanes. They just put him out there. Yeah. Yeah. But as... Um, what do you call it? Yeah, Rocky Maivia was his... Rocky Johnson was his father. Sorry. And then Peter Maivia was his uh, grandfather. Okay. And that's why his stage name when he started wrestling was Rocky Maivia. Because he identified as like the grandfather of Maivia and the da- or, uh, the son of Rocky. Okay. Rocky Maivia. Paying homage to both. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he was the fir- one of the first big third generation wrestlers. Mm. You know, and that's, you know, his daughter just recently signed a contract with WWE as well to be the, the fourth... fourth. Fourth generation. Do we know her ever. stage name? I don't think she's wrestled yet. The gravel. Pebble. She's training. Yeah. <laughs> the gravel. <laughs> like pebble. Yeah. Rocky Maivia Johnson. Yeah, big pebble. <laughs> but, uh, she's gonna be big the pebble. pebble. The but big no, pebble. he uh, he played football in Miami for a while. Boulder. And then went on, you know, trying to do professional football back in '95, but never got drafted. Mm. And then shortly after, in '96, is when he got to start in the WWE. F at the time. Ooh. Now WWE. And then, like I said, he went on to be, you know, obviously huge in wrestling. Oh, yeah. You know, he was kind of one of the big guys back then because, I mean... Do you smell what the rock is cooking? He was one of the big guys back then uh, in the, I guess they call it Attitude Era. Like, you know, DX, Shawn Michaels, Steve you know, oh, rock, that, that real Stone like Cold big Steve in Austin. your face, like, well, that's when, tough man. Like, yeah, wrestling rah. was coming back in. That was a huge push for wrestling again. I think that was, that was that around the era that uh, McMahon, like, totally came out and was like, hey, this isn't real, so that way they can't, they didn't have to pay um, the sports gambling fees or whatever. Like, people couldn't, because it was, they admitted that it was staged so that people, so that the, whoever it is that collects taxes on gambling. I, I think there was to something to that because that's when they started branding it as sports entertainment. Right. Uh, 
okay. Yeah. I mean, everyone. It's always been scripted. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's a it's a melodrama. It's like a I mean, sport. It's a sports people opera. Didn't care people. It was like it was. It's like a soap opera for yeah hillbillies and. and, <laughs> and uh, I think it gets a bad rap in that case because it is fun to watch sometimes. Like I've been to those True. events like at Fort Bragg and, and stuff. And they have a chick now that spits like venom. Like she like yeah. spit shit in people's eyes. It's like whoa, lady. But regardless, oh, I think yeah, we can all agree a that show, yeah, that <laughs> he, we've all seen Bloodsport. It's, yeah. yeah, it's fine. We can all agree that he was one of the like easily the top three. Iconic. Like, boom. Like yeah, I'm yeah. here. He has that that presence. You know, like that's yeah. him. Mm-hmm. He's a natural showman. Well, he's third generation. Yeah, I mean, true, he grew up true, with that. True. I just. It, it bugged me for a long time that he would be... It's almost like he got typecast in movies. It's like, well, you're going to play The Rock, um, but you're not going to be called The Rock in the movie. Uh, and I think that's changing <laughs> recently. There's a... He's now There's hot. a couple of Disney movies where he actually plays a decent character. Um, what's that one where he has a, uh, a daughter? He's like a professional football quarterback, and he has a daughter. And Oh, oh um... I cannot remember what it's called. Game Plan. A- Game yes, game, game I game loved game. that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Or he's a hockey player in uh, The Tooth Fairy. I thought that was Yeah, cool. that yeah. was fun. That was also one where he wasn't playing the... Had, I didn't feel like he was playing The Rock. No. And then, he uh, was kind of a douche in that movie. Like, his character was a douche. And I just don't see The, the Rock as a douche. That's the point, is redemption. Mm-hmm. He's getting yeah. redeemed as being a total... Well, but I'm then saying, what's the point the of the Fast and Furious movie? <laughs> Yeah, I think he should have stopped <laughs> Fashion Furious after, like, three. Well, now he has his own standalone thing. He's got Hobbs and Shaw yeah. now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just be honest. Like, for as good as he is, there are some... You, it, some you movies are good, some movies You can't movies and bad. have them all be hits. You just yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Cube, cube, there are Kubrick movies out there. People will tout Kubrick all day long. It's like, he's the world's greatest r- r- director of all time. But, yeah, but have you seen... Still shining because it's uh, debatable. Uh, no, it's not. That debatable. Was terrible. But the man who wrote it, it was like this blows hardcore, just chunks everywhere. Debatable. To me, oh, right, debatable. Fine. Fine. It is subjective. In my right. we'll get on the horror movies in the, the new episodes. <laughs> Could you even consider the shining a horror movie? It was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was definitely be... psychological horror. Yeah. Yeah. It was, was it? psychological. Back to the rock. Yeah. yeah back. Back to the rock. Back to the, the rock. Right. Right. I think we can both agree that he's had some really amazing movies and then some really not so amazing movies. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yes. Like, what was it? Uh. Sandra. Did anybody ever see Be Cool? No. With him no. in it. Mm-mm. Well, really. I no. remember. I think I seen John the. Travolta, the I saw the trailer. Yeah, and I immediately was Wolfman like, no. probably not good. the sequel to Get Smart or Get Shorty. Yeah, Shorty. Shorty. Get Shorty. Yeah, he plays a uh, like a Vince. He's a, like a bodyguard slash like you know tough guy for Vince Vaughn's character, who's like a kind of like a wannabe gangster, but he's like the muscle. Can you go potty? But he's not really that terribly good at it. He's just this big dumb guy. Like, not really dumb, but like he's just like shot. So he's like a, yeah. a stupid or more timid version of himself in the rundown. Kind he's of. also kind of like an enforcer. But he also happens to be gay, but he lets that go over. Like, you know, he makes this one comment. It's like, oh, you know what I love about that chicken? I can take one, you know, bite of it and just pick the whole bone made, clean. Wait, he's they like, made the rock gay in a movie? Yeah. That's fucking cool as shit. Yeah. Like, he was hilarious. Man. I, I <laughs> he just, he just picks his boulder. You, you smell yeah. <laughs> fucking coming out of the kitchen. All he's like, wearing is an apron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he picks the apron and yeah, nothing else. And nothing else. I loved it. He was really what funny in that. You know, he actually showed his, his comedic side of that movie. But I think he did a good job recently. In the last two things I've seen is... The, the, with him in it is the Jumanji films and the yep. second one yeah. really yeah. like he's able, he has to play like three or four different characters in that like he's still he's still Dr. Bravestone yeah. the Avatar but three or four people different or three three different people play him and it was just super interesting to watch him go from being a Danny DeVito to being this kid to, to whatever <laughs> Danny DeVito <laughs> we should do like, we should do an episode yeah, well, on Danny DeVito my normal size. Oh, yeah. Danny DeVito the, the Rock might be might be Daddy but Danny DeVito will forever be <laughs> they should do a twins they should do a Man new twins they talked about that for We're a doing while doing The Rock and like Peter Dinklage <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> we could do like The Rock and Kevin Hart 
<laughs> oh, yeah, God. you could. That would be fun. Their next duo comedy. Dang. But if, did anybody see the Doom movie, the live action movie? Oh, There's a uh, Doom movie. Yeah, <laughs> you, you haven't seen it? No. It's like, yeah, it's like You're, uh, yeah. It's early 2000s, right? It's like 2000, 2000, it came out. I was gonna say it came out the same year as Be Cool. Oof. But like, it's bad. Big it is oof. bad. Uh, Carl Urban that plays the lead in it. Yeah. It's about like this, this like spec ops scene. team. The best part of the movie is when it goes into Carl Urban's perspective as in the first person shooter, and he's like super pumped up on this like rage virus, and just like. It, it's like watching a cutscene of the game. It's yeah, really, it's but really like live cool action. Around. I've never, I haven't seen a first-person montage that good <laughs> since that. Uh, what is it? Da- Hard Hardcore Henry. Yeah. Like that oh fuck. Cool. Yeah. But the Rock plays like one of his like commanding officers, and then eventually goes bad. Uh. And it, and, but it's it's not good. Would you <laughs> Would it's you just, relate it to the live action Spawn? TV show or movie? No, it was a movie. It was worse than that. Worse than Spawn. It was worse than live action Spawn. Definitely, because even that had some redeeming qualities. Was that? That was uh, John Leguizamo was the main or was the bad guy? Jai Washington, Kai Washington, Kai Jai White, Jai. I can't remember his name. Jai White. It's the same guy from Black Dynamite. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plays him right. Yeah. Yeah. Wanda. That the, the one that played Jax in like the Mortal Kombat movie. Um, oh shit! Oh, was he that did. Him? Was that him? Yeah, I think so. I think it was. We'll have to Google it, but I yeah, think, we'll I think it. it was. But yeah, it's not that good. Okay, so don't <laughs> don't watch Doom with yeah. Dwayne it's the not Rock that good. Johnson. Yeah, not good movie. I particularly liked his the his character in the Reno Nine One One movie. Oh my yeah. God! Yes, what? I remember seen, that. I it was that movie. so. Like, that was kind of like 2007. The, the Reno Nine One. They go to Miami. Yeah, when they go to Miami. Yeah. Where are you from? You don't know Gator. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we watched that. Huh. They call me the Condor. <laughs> the Condor. <laughs> but he was in there like 15 seconds because then he blows his ass up with a grenade. Huh. I got the motherfucker. It has like a 15 second timer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, I'm uh, looking forward to Jungle Cruise. Oh <laughs> yeah, I saw the. I, oh. Which yeah. I, to me is a good indication that they're bringing back that Pulp Fiction era. Not Pulp Fiction the movie, but like the Pulp era. Like adventures of like abroad and exotic areas, right? Mm-hmm. Like I like movies like that. Where you got like an Indiana yeah. Jones type characters, and there's like jungle headhunters with poison blowguns, and there's <laughs> you know the trailer does look really good. They just need to bring bring back like that genre, just all of it, freaking exotic, like a like a fucking what's the PlayStation game? Uh, no, was it Nathan Drake or whatever? Oh yeah, oh, uh, about, uh, Uncharted. Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted. but I do. But I in a, like so exactly what you're saying. Uncharted, but I still want it to be set in like the the 30s and 40s, like any mm. was. Like the whole I just era. love the whole idea yeah. of like some like I'm a doctor of archaeology, but I'm still gonna fight this Nazi on yeah. top of this airplane <laughs> and like knock him out and get him killed by the propeller. And well, I'm gonna yeah. use my whip to like repel down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool stuff. Like but that. have Dwayne the Rock Johnson do that? That would be. I'd like to see a crossover between the new Tomb Raider revamp that they've done and Uncharted. Like, if those took place in the same universe, that'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Well, didn't they, that last, I mean, this is completely off topic, but that last Uncharted game, that was the last one, right? Yeah. I think so. Was it four? Four was the last one? Yeah, Yeah, four. Yeah. Yeah, they had a spinoff, but that was the last official one right now. Well, that stinks. Unless they start doing, like, his kids. I'd like to see, uh... Because I'd like to, them to pretend the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor didn't exist, and they go back <laughs> to the original Emotep storyline of the Mummy, bring Brendan Fraser back, and he passes it on to his son. Well, they're revamping that, the Mummy. Yeah, but they did it with Tom Cruise in it. Dude. No, they're going to revamp it again. To be like, Jesus, leave like, it alone, <laughs> Warner Brothers. Leave like the that. Mummy be. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's forget Tom Cruise. Yeah, but, no. Back to The Rock. Yes. Yeah. All right. Another particular one. The other guys. Oh yes, my god. Was in, 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 in for the bushes. <laughs> Wasn't he the dick cop? He was yeah, the they were both dick cop. The, they were both like... Did they jump off the building? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In for the bushes. In for the bushes. <laughs> yeah. in for the bushes. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent, but I want to hear you scream! <laughs> I love that line. That whole movie was just a riot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I feel just... like they should have kept him in there a little bit longer. If you're going to pay for two actors like Samuel L. Jackson and The Rock, especially teaming up together... Maybe keep him in a little bit longer. I think it'd be funny if they were just like had every bone broken that, in their body and they're looking. That the humor. Yeah, well, they like they double dipped with it though, because they you got you got Samuel Jackson and you got The Rock, but then you also got Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, 
And uh, who else is it? One of the Wayans' sons was in there, and Rob Rob Riggle? Ron Riggle. I always forget if it's Rob Riggle. Rob. Rob Riggle. Riggle. Rob Riggle. Yeah. That, to me, he's hysterical. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> Do peacocks even fly? <laughs> Just let him have this. I'm looking forward to him playing Black Adam. I really am. Dude, he looks amazing. Mm. Like on his photos that like he's been training for. Like, I thought it was hard for that dude to look even bigger, but mm. he just looks. He more got really in... big for Hercules, and that movie got shit that... on. What do you mean? I thought I thought Hercules was pretty good. I liked it. It was well, okay. yeah, but universal like other people like it was over, okay. over the majority. Most people didn't like it, and I was wow. like, what? It was okay. I it wasn't it really, terrible. I've seen worse movies. It was yeah. cool that it went into his actual myths. Like he gets, he kills that lion that's like with his bare hands. The Indian lion. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, Hydra in the swamp, all that mm-hmm. stuff. He gets the club. He doesn't yeah. have a sword. He gets the club. Yeah. Well, and you can lift buildings off of people. Like <laughs> you, don't, you don't need a sword. You're just yeah. bludgeon people to death. But I feel like, he, like this for this one, he's getting a little more trim, but also getting bulkier. Like that makes sense. Like define more, more like. Uh, where he could like do thirty pull ups instead of benching like five hundred pounds, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like more physically imposing somehow like that. Like, now this is this is the real question like we were talking about earlier. Is he on steroids? I think he's using something more like HGH, like a legal drug, so to speak, or legal steroid kind of I don't of. know if steroids are illegal if you're outside of a competition. Yeah. Because you can get them on the de- internet. Yeah. I guess it depends on what type you're using. So he's drinking like breast milk. Yeah, pure Cambodian breast milk. Could be <laughs> drinking breast milk. <laughs> Maybe he's actually just drinking regular milk. Because a lot of people are like, oh, milk's bad for you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. I, I, my children are going to be out there ripping whole trees out of the ground and splitting logs about, uh, like like Steve Rogers and, and Captain America. I remember Arnold was saying that he was on like one of the, they used to do like milk diets back in the 60s and 70s when they were trying to get big because it has so much calcium and protein. Turn the 200-pound calf into a 2,000-pound bull. Come at me. Mm, That's some bullshit. Yeah. Tell me that isn't good for you. What do you think? What? About like, do you... Do you think he just uses all natural stuff, or do you think he uses like? I, I don't think he can at, at his age. Because like, like he's over forty, right? He's forty-eight. Yeah, so he's at fifty, and he's looking like like an eighteen-year-old Olympian. There's no fucking way it's natural. He's sitting he's there not mixing. Really at least pumping t- testosterone into him, like he's yeah. sitting there yeah. mixing. He's got the he's got the titty like milk. He's got the testosterone. <laughs> he's got the steroids. He's just he never even looked like that. spraying it all into a blender and just letting it go. Yeah. Put my whey protein in there. <laughs> but I get a little natural. What is his sex like though? Because like, if he's actually on shit. You don't. You, I don't think he's using. I don't think he's if you, juicing. If you do the stacks or the cycle it the way you're supposed to, you don't really get that change in your fucking your <laughs> downstairs. Um, so I mean, he's got kids. So it's probably fine. Yeah. yeah, three. I don't think he, he, don't he he's juicing like professionally, like steroid and yeah. He's not. He's not like, like sticking. He probably a has a doctor. Anything. Honestly, they probably oh, have yeah. a doctor on standby. Oh yeah, like, of might be like some pills or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if he's using anything, it's probably the HGH or something like that. That's not gonna affect him as much, because I mean the dude literally lifts for like three or four hours a day working out. Oh, God, but I mean, boring. at the same time, this dude's got genetics on his side. Yeah, true. true. That is yeah, very true. true. He comes from two hardy ass races. You know, look at his yeah. dad. His dad was bigger Love. than he. Yeah, like fucking yeah. joke dude. His dad massive. looks like you a black Lou Ferrigno. Right? We are the human race. This okay, not... he, his genetics. That's right. Ethnic his back genetics. Back. Ethnic yeah. back. Ethnically, okay, they, he go. is coming from the creme de la crop. Like the yeah, yeah. Like his grandfather was a joke rocks. guy too. He was had, he was like Samoan, Samoan, like you know a hardy guy, but he had fucking muscle, and his dad was a specimen, chiseled in his prime. Stuff. You know, Chisel. like, but I mean, all that going for him, as long as he doesn't fall off the wagon, if he just keeps going, like he is, why would he, like, lose all that? Too that bad about his hairline, though. Yeah. He looks better bald. He really Let's does. Let's be honest. I've yeah. never seen him not bald, honestly. I've what? seen that one photo movie? of him in the turtleneck in the fanny the pack. He's, he's got hair in the rundown. He's got hair in the rundown. He's got hair in that movie, The Game Plan. Did he? Yeah, he had like a, yeah. a flat top fade looking like a background character from a house party. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's he got also, too much other shit going for him anyway. Yeah. 
He has to have one thing. Yeah, I say like, if there's one flaw, he can't grow a lot of hair. Yes, but he can grow I a mean, beard. He's a hairless body. He can like, grow a lot. Yeah, but he, but shaves he definitely that. Shaves. Oh, he yeah. shaves. So, that. Uh, I wouldn't even like say. Yeah, I wouldn't even probably, say shave. He probably I think, has somebody that he pays to shave him clean. Oh my! No, he's got that. <laughs> yeah, Rachel. <laughs> he's right. got. He's got that. Come, back, baby. Come on. He's got that little lady that's back in his mansion that's like, "Oh, you need more wax today, Mister Dwayne." <laughs> they just. She goes to Costco to get it. Like a fifty gallon. <laughs> <laughs> they just dip him in a vat of wax and they just. Then <laughs> 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 he was like a little hand cheese. He was literally like a, a whole cup, like he just yeah. like bed sheet. <laughs> He's like, <sighs> oh my Why? god. Why? <laughs> oh. 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 Chiseled out visuals. of stone. I guess that's why yeah. it's called the rock. <laughs> uh, <Hey>. Get out. <laughs> Did anybody ever watch the one called Snitch? No. His son gets, gets like pinched for like drugs or something stupid, and then he has to be like a informant, or he goes undercover or some shit like that. Mm-mm. Huh. That was on one of his lesser known ones too that people didn't really respond well to. But GI Joe. Oh, it was Duke, or no? It wasn't Duke. He was no, uh, Roadblock. No, he was uh, Roadblock. Yeah. Mm. That movie series went nowhere. No, I feel like it was better than the first one. I don't think they should have killed Channing Tatum off in the first five minutes. You know? Yeah, that was weird. Like I said, if you're going to use him, like, why fucking... If you're going to pay all that money, why kill him off in the first, like, opening scene? Well, they're paying him... They're clearly paying him less. Because he didn't have to clear his schedule if he's not doing more than, like, you know, four or five hours of shooting. Get it done in a night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later, man. (laughs) I got this. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm the rock. I'm the rock. Yeah. I, I do things. Because, I mean, G.I. Joe has so many, like, characters to call on, too. I'd like to see him in an in a actual drama role, though. Because he does a lot of that lighthearted stuff. It's either action films or with comic relief where he says some funny stuff. Or he's in an actual, like, family-friendly comedy. But I'd like to see him in something serious. It doesn't have to be, like, action and serious. He could literally just be like, you know. I'd watch... I'd watch Manchester by the Sea with with him and <laughs> Dwayne the Rock. They do a remake of Bridges of Madison County with the Rock in it. Oh, yeah, Gone man. with the Wind. And you can play Mr. Darcy. I, I have no doubt that it would get an audience, but I don't think anybody's going to really expect to see the Rock alongside, say, like a serious actor like we'll say Leonardo DiCaprio. That would be interesting, though. It would. That would be really. It would. In Hollywood. And Hollywood, get on it. Honestly, I feel like he should have been who they cast for Artemis Fowl's uh, butler. Because in the books, his butler yeah. is described as Eurasian, which, you know, obviously that's still not his ethnic background, but I don't really know any Dolph Lundgren types that are out there anymore. Uh, or Dave Bautista, maybe, but I don't know who this guy is. Because Butler's supposed to be, like, super trim and buff, and they got kind of like a... I mean, he looks big and strong, but the guy playing Butler in that movie is like... Kind of heavy set as well. He got a big yeah. belly. Yeah. And he's supposed to be like this super fast, hardcore special forces trained secret service type guy. And I just did not get that vibe from that dude. They could do like like the Mafia games or like Mafia 3. Or that one with like the. Like the oh, dude. yeah. Well, that would be similar because he's. So in that game, you come back as like you're an army ranger that comes back from, from Vietnam. And they yeah. did that kind of when he did walk, Walking Tall. Which is a remake. They should do yeah. a movie of that with the that. I feel like that would be really fucking cool. The Rock or the Mafia? The Rock. Oh, okay. do like a Mafia three or like a movie like that, like in that Vietnam era, and just okay. have the Rock. I'm gonna throw this out there. I know that they have one already, and John Berthold did an amazing job as him. Imagine if Frank Castle was the Rock. No, doesn't no. Work again. You don't think so? No. no, I don't think that would work. <laughs> too big? Yeah. Anything like that? No, yeah, he's too big. Frank Castle. Frank Castle was, was a, a big large, dude. He yeah, is a but big he dude. wasn't like. In, well, Frank at least not the Punisher Frank. Max versions. The ones that I think should be like the yeah. canon for the. Like, Frank Castle was always like a 6'3, 6'4, and physically he's a big, imposing he was a dude. Marine recon. Yeah, right? he's a but, big, big guy. You know? I, I think he would do a good job. I, I don't know Tom if he's. Jane was like the perfect. For, to me, it's yeah, Tom Jane. He was pretty Punisher's, good. The Punisher. I don't know if The Rock could be that like, vicious enough with that. I think that he's too... too people like, see him yeah. as too soft-hearted with that mm, yeah. kind of thing, you know? Tough like, when he has to be, not... Yeah, not, because, not because, tough because he has to be, not one because he wants to be. Yeah. Yes. You know? But, I don't know. I really liked him in Pain and Gain as well, with Mark Wahlberg. 
Yeah. That, that was, was that was really that funny. That was good. That uh, one was pretty funny. That was really funny. He played an idiot. Okay, yeah. Go well. on. That's good. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> yeah. Because he played the big dumb guy, right? Yeah. 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 Well, they were all kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were all. It wasn't a genius plan, but I mean, they get caught. That's. Yeah, while well, we know about it. <laughs> Did anybody ever see the pictures at the end that shows the guys that they played? Uh uh. Mm mm. Yeah, I saw him. Does he look like him? He looks like a fucking... No, the guy that pl- he's playing looks like a fucking, like, yeti dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's, like, missing a chromosome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cancel. Thanks, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. But I think we can all kind of agree that his character Hobbs in Fast and Furious franchise... Is him. Is, that's him. That is, that is that like... Is literally... If he became yeah. a cop, that would be him. Yeah. yeah. Carrying around a, a big of, fucking six shooter. You should get a hold of uh, Steven Seagal and become a movie <laughs> yeah. state police officer. <laughs> oh uh, god! Because I I finally got around to watching Hobbs and Shaw and it was pretty decent. It, it go it went back to like the old school action movies. You know what I mean? Like the cheesy music, the like cut scenes, the Brown background Brown montages. Brown. You know, that's all uh, Fast and Furious. That's all it is anyway. It's not about cars and shit. It's about like. Let's throw this Lamborghini out of the back of like a fucking giant ass plane, and then have a tank rolling out of nowhere, and, and grappling hooks, and family, like and a Corona, and a Corona. I'm gonna watch it. So I got nothing. <laughs> like I said, I, we just watched it a few days ago, finally, because I, I heard mixed reviews. Like I did, a lot of the newer generation didn't like it. A lot of the older ones did that liked those old school action movies, but it was it was good. I'm not saying it was bad. Yeah, I think he it should, was good. They should keep him yeah. on board if they do a if they redo what they've been doing with like the Lion King and Aladdin and all that. If they do a live action version of Moana, I think I'd watch him as Maui uh, playing himself again. I, I give it. I said give it like ten years. I wouldn't until, even give it until that. it becomes a classic. Well, true. I, I mean, give it ten years. Give it ten years. He'll still be in good shape. He might wear a fat suit over his like eighteen pack abs. <laughs> but yeah. I think they're gonna. I think they'll give him a wig and tat his ass up even more. Yeah. That'd be oh cool. yeah. Yeah. Come on. Mo- it's the Rock. Come on. They have, have to give him a wig though. That's slightly, what I said. They have to give him slightly bald. <laughs> slightly balding Maui. <laughs> Maui, what happened? Everything. <laughs> Age. Age. <laughs> I think they will eventually. I think they're gonna make another. Hobbs and Shaw movie or like a Hobbs standalone movie maybe if, yeah. if they keep going with this Fast and Furious nonsense then I think Hobbs and Shaw they're, just they're about to come out with nine either this year or next year whenever they finally get they the ain't gonna delays. stop they as long as it's making money man like yeah well it's making money because it's it, they're ridiculous <laughs> like it's so fucking I want ridiculous. to see him as a bad guy though and I know Black Adam's like a villain but there's also uh, a, he's a, a, more of an anti-hero yeah uh, you know it would be cool if, if he would play Black Adam, but they did the Injustice timeline. That would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty cool. I mean, just seeing Black Adam on the live screen as The Rock, or played by The Rock, I think is going to be pretty good for a lot of people. I just yeah. hope they don't do that. So DC, I feel like DC tries too hard to rely on the, peop- the, the fact that they know their characters are established. And I think that's why the, the Christian Bale Batman did so well, because they went all the way back to the beginning and gave you, like, the, this is how and why you started and it gave you a reason to care about Batman and then a Man of Steel they're like F like it. people know who Superman is they kind of touched on it but I, I kind of like the way they did it with Man of Steel honestly for that movie it really worked because they they let you know why he felt that way by going back and showing you yeah but they didn't focus on it for like 30 minutes in the beginning yeah you know what I mean like they went back and forth and let you know and it kind of like went I think it was a nice it had fluidity. It was very fluid with that, I think, without being too dwelling too much on it. You know what I mean? That's fair. Mm-hmm. So, because like for the first what half hour of Batman Begins, it's all it was is it went back in time and it, you know started in the beginning and it showed like everything progressing and everything like that and you know yeah. I feel like it focused maybe a little too long, but I mean it was a Christopher Nolan movie, mm. so he likes his little exposition. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. He likes to dwell on that kind of shit, but I don't know. I mean, shit, we could get a Hobbs origin story. Oh, dear. Lord. That would be interesting. How did he become this super secret police state operative? Yeah, like, what was the fucking organization he works for? I don't even remember. What? I don't even know. No. Some DFF or BFF, something that I've never heard BFFs, of. BFFs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Him and Statham. Secretly, the dude from 
fucking the other guys and survived yeah. the accident. Yeah. It was a stage. The stage <laughs> it was, was a stage, like yes. <laughs> they paid him off to jump off the roof and then... Yeah. But I think everybody can agree that he is Maui. Oh, for sure. Like, he totally embodies that's, that's, that. That's yeah, him. Yeah, that's him. That is his, like... The goofiness and... Yeah. The personality and the insecurities and... Thinking he's God's fucking gift to man, but also not being a huge dick about it. Yeah. Later on in the movie. Yeah. And when he learns to be humble. <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, you go around and you do all that stuff for humanity, and they're just like, ah, eh, whatever. Like, you'd be a little more like, uh, you're welcome. Like, I'm the reason grass exists, so. What's <laughs> up? You have Landis in on? Yeah, that's me. What was his trauma again? Like his fucking his parents he was thrown abandoned away. him. Yeah, he was thrown away as a and as a baby. Took him and were yeah. like, yeah, you get powers now. Yeah, but well, you're gonna be the bridge between humanity and the gods yeah. and demigod. Yeah, and you failed. Yeah. Damn, throw me into the ocean. I don't want to be fucking. <laughs> I'll be the seagull king. I don't give a shit. Seagull, seagull king. <laughs> Get me sandwiches. That Sky would exactly Squaw! what you would be. You are so fucking annoying. Squaw! Literally. Oh, that's gonna no. be a, that's gonna be a big sound bite. I'd like to see you play a real villain though, but not like cause obviously Black Adam again. We're talking about antihero slash. He's like he'll probably be the antagonist or is the antagonist. I want to see him play. The actual villain, like when Travolta did Broken Arrow, like, I want to see The Rock yeah. be a huge piece of shit. Mm. I feel like if we, there was a Venom movie like that, I don't know. Not with him, been no. a bad guy. But besides, like the Scorpion King, but even then, it was kind of like it wasn't him; it was a CGI. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like I felt like they kind of wasted it because even the Scorpion King movie that he was in was really bad. Yeah. Well, they're considering Black Adam to be a villain. Yes and no. Like well, he he's plays I, the antagonist, but like so. Yeah, there's there's movies where, or comics where Scorpion where, King was the bad guy. Too. Where the Punisher's quote unquote the bad guy, but he's still doing bad shit for good reasons. Like the thing about Black Adam's character is that he does the right thing half the time. He might not go about it the right way. Like if he sees like, like I remember when he comes back to his country after being awakened, he like sees the military as like a kind of dictatorship kind of thing, and it kills them all takes over you know yeah so maybe that's not the right way to go about it but he did ultimately do the right thing and he freed his country and became its monarch you know uh Kandak 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 however you want to is say he, it is he European or no it's like Middle Eastern oh. he's like he's like because remember it's Egyptian gods oh that he gets his powers from you know because it was like 2,000 years ago and who are the gods that Shazam gets his powers from uh newer I say newer gods but like uh Speed of Hermes, uh, so Western, kind of like newer gods, but like Black Adam was like around like that Middle Eastern Egyptian okay, area. It's where stuff. like I don't know DC's geography is kind of convoluted with that somewhat, mm. but it conducts around that region. You know, okay. yeah. oh, that's right because they don't do like Marvel does real life places for the most part. Some for the most part, yeah. Like Wakanda doesn't exist or. Right. Uh, Chuckles of Laka, blah, 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 It depends on how much Where's you that place that blows up in Age of Ultron? Uh, so- Sokovia. Sokovia, yeah. Sokovia Quartz, sense. yeah. It depends on how deep in the rabbit hole you want to go with the like geography of like those two areas. But I think it's... I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because Black Adam's always been one of my favorite, more favorite villains slash anti-heroes in DC. Because he's got the powers of Superman, essentially, but magic-based. Mm-hmm. You know? And... He didn't have the morals. Yeah. He was like, fuck it. No, I'm like, pff, pff, punch your head off. Bad is bad. Yeah. Violence is the only language people understand. <laughs> Essentially. Which is true. People yeah. people don't like to admit it, but it is. <laughs> what about Baywatch? Oh, oh my I God. I hated Baywatch. <laughs> God. He wasn't Huge he wasn't penis. Bad in it. Huge penis. Uh, he wasn't bad in it. He played himself. Yeah. yeah. He Huge played himself. Penis. And remember in the very beginning, he's running, he's jogging along the beach. You're like, uh, like, hey, Mitch. He's like, how do you like the statue? Because the guy's been on like a sandcastle with him on her. So he's like, he's like, looks good, man. Remember, huge penis or something like that. You know, huge dick. I never saw that movie because it looked really bad. And it had Zac Efron in it. It's worth like, a watch. I'll you know say it's Zac worth Efron? a watch. No, I do. But all I can think of is Troy from fucking High School Music. You gotta go <laughs> the game. Because my dad... Watches those over and over again. He likes yeah. the musical yes. musicals. Wow! Yeah. And I'm like, 
What's your dad do for a living? <laughs> um, he works for like a phone company or some shit? He used to. He used to work for AT&T, but now he's like working for his girlfriend. But um, he's okay, like dude. getting a psychology master's or some yeah. shit. It's so he treat himself? <laughs> he For his cycle. obsession with a high school musical? I, I will say this. Baywatch is worth a watch. That way you can True. say you've seen it and you can at least reference it. It's it's a funny movie. You know what I mean? I, don't, I wouldn't say it's something I'm going to watch like regularly. But it's worth like a watch because it is a funny movie. And I think The Rock does do a good job. But he plays himself. True yeah. penis. It's him. I've never heard him <laughs> say penis. It's like penis or dick. I think he says penis, though. I don't think I've ever yeah. heard him say I wanna, I'm anything gonna, I'm going <laughs> to YouTube that, that specific clip just because I want to hear The Rock say penis. <laughs> I'm about to. It's it's in there, but, like, he plays himself, mm. essentially. Like, that, that's it. He plays himself. Did you not see it either? I didn't see it. No. Oh, damn it. Wait. I wanted... Is Zac Efron kissed him? Right? No. Oh, okay. Never no. mind. I thought it no. said Rock no. kissed Zac Efron. No. no. It's a no. fan fiction. I was like, oh, I'm definitely watching it if Whoa. they kiss. <laughs> no, he doesn't kiss or anything like that. Him and that, actually, him and Zac Efron had a pretty funny dynamic with each other. It's like big brother, little brother, like I'm training you kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> you also like The Shining, too, so. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what? For liking The Shining. <laughs> but what I'll, what I'll say is... What are you guys sending each other? Do the podcast, sluts. What? Yeah. I wanted to fucking that's the, hear it. That's the scene. That's we the want, scene. Oh. oh. That's the scene. Yeah. Turn it up. I don't, we'll, get, we'll get banned. We don't have, we don't have the rights for it. It's 15 so like seconds. We don't have monetizations or anything like that, but... I actually, this has got a good point. My pecs a little bigger, and don't cover up my front ball. You got it. Huge dick. Oh, it was the other guy. Oh, he did. He, he said, said big dick. dick. He, he oh, said oh, big okay. dick. Yeah. Damn. Huge dick. <laughs> All right, now we got to read off. Uh, Baywatch was uh, movies brought to you by whatever. And yeah, disclaimer. We, we are not trademark. Right? Holy shit. Not yet. Monster, if you want to send me a uh, they can still strike trade. you and make you remove it though, if you want to be cut for. We do not have the rights or any distribution. Blah, blah, blah for Baywatch. Yeah, I'm know. sure that'll hold up in court. <laughs> Monster, please send me a mini fridge. Please don't take us down. I want Monster anyway. mini fridge. All right. Baywatch, we'll have to watch it. You know, we'll do a family movie night and watch Baywatch once. Ew. It's worth it. Yeah, that's a real family friendly. <laughs> <movie. laughs> we'll get the kids in here. Big dick! What is a dick? <laughs> you are the youngest in this house. Shut the fuck up, to <laughs> <laughs> What about Rampage? I didn't watch it. No. Because I thought it would destroy one of my favorite N64 games growing up. Because it was just like a mindless fun game where you play... I think that was even before... Was that before N64 too? No, I remember... I, I played it on N64. It might have... There might have been... They had different... On, they have a couple yeah. of different but kinds the, of... The one on 64 was my favorite. I always played either the giant wolf man or the big lizard guy. Yeah. Did it's you like say Reptar no. from Rugrats. <laughs> Ugh. It, Ram, I will say this about Rampage. It was... The only endearing quality of it was probably that The Rock was in it. Because, I don't know, Naomi Watts is in, I think, is her name, the black chick, but the rest of it was, okay, they're tearing apart downtown Chicago and most of the greater Chicago area, that's, okay, I, so did Transformers. <laughs> so did the Avengers, except with New York. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't a terrible movie, I've seen worse. Yeah. I never saw his Skyscraper movie, because it looked awful, awful, terrible. Yeah, it's just not... Uh, That's the one where he had one leg. He was a veteran. Yeah. yeah. That was like an architect, I think, or something after that. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember, I remember the trailer. He was a security specialist, and he was talking about, he was, they brought, there was a security consultant. Yeah, they after the military. Yeah, yeah, that's how he lost his leg. That's right. And they brought him in, they're like, hey, this is the world's tallest building and some other shit. What are our security concerns looking like? And it can blow over. Through and, then, <laughs> and then they bring in terrorists. For some reason, they kidnap his family. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I remember the trailer. That's about it. I never watched the movie, so... No, I never... Yeah. Cause My, most of the trailer was him taking his leg off and putting it back on and then losing his leg and then and climbing then he, the like, ladder. jumped. And then he jumped. <laughs> and then that was the extent of... The cliffhanger to get you to ah. watch the movie to see if he fucking dies or not. I'd uh, like to see him in a Nutty Professor reboot where he plays the professor. 
What the fuck is that? What is he turning into? You've never seen the Nutty Professor? God, you are, I forget you're a child. The Nutty Professor is an Eddie Murphy film where he oh. plays this like super milk toast, fat, goofy professor who develops this serum that makes him like skinny and attractive, but he's also a total dickhead. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So it's kind of like The Mask. Ah. Oh. And that was even a remake of one that happened back in, I think, the 60s or 70s Maybe. as well. But who like would a he, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of deal. Yeah, like a, yeah. yeah. So would he be the attractive one then? He'd be both, like Eddie Murphy was. That's what I'm saying. Like he's, but like. So the standard Rock, yeah, would be the attractive one, and then yeah. they'd have Rock in yeah, a fat yeah. suit looking like Maui. <laughs> <laughs> they could do that. What Maui movie was fat, it? Though. What movie was he's it that fat. the Rock, the Rock was like that that fat kid <gasps> in high school? It was I mean, a fucking. It was Central Intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. Central Intelligence. Yeah. Central Intelligence. Yeah. Wasn't that yeah, his first braces. movie with uh, Kevin Hart? That was the Hart. first yeah. one with Kevin Hart. Yeah. They are a great duo. You know, I and this is going to sound rough because it's one of my favorite films of all times and people are going to fucking freak out when they hear this. Uh-oh. I would watch a remake of Tommy Boy with The Rock and Damn. Kevin Hart. Ooh. I would watch the shit out of it. Don't know what the fuck that is. And they could be like a... pineapple salesman or something. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. I think you could make a more original story for it, honestly. Like, like he just goes to college to play rugby or football or something he comes back as a total, like, piece of shit who just smokes a bunch of weed and Kevin Hart's like this super hard working accountant guy who's like super smart and he has to put up with The Rock and it's like insanity I feel like they need to do a movie with those two and change the, the dynamic where The Rock's like the stable one and Kevin Hart's like the crazy guy that comes in and fucks The Rock's life up oh yeah, okay you know what I mean like yeah. change it a little bit like don't get me wrong what they have works that dynamic they have works or if they just flipped it yeah just like change it's it like, alright Kevin Hart you're gonna play The Rock uh, like, the like, it, like, like, like it like it like in Twins, Danny DeVito's character is the crazy, like, you know, one that comes and fucks up Arnold Schwarzenegger's life. Remember that? Yeah. Because yeah. he's like a super established. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was super established. He's like, this is all zen and like, you know, in this monastery or some crazy shit. Like, I can't remember exactly what it is, but he's like super put together. And Danny DeVito's like this swindling, like, you know, kind of... Shiesty son of shiesty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that. God, that was a good movie too, back in the day. I'd watch a Twins remake, a Tommy Boy yeah. remake, and Black Sheep. I remember seeing see the rumor for a while that and the I'm people, not a big remakes guy. Yeah, people thought that they were gonna make the Rock the new like T1000 or Terminator guy. <gasps> Holy shit! I would totally watch him as the bad Terminator. That'd be pretty fucking cool. That would change it up. I would watch that. That'd be pretty fucking That'd be interesting. cool. Interesting. I mean, it'd be cool for him to take like like take over as opposed to like you know Arnold trying do, to pump that shit up. Because of his still. training regimen, what he could do is like fast and get a little small when they film the first half of it and then there's a scene halfway through where he's got that liquid bullshit and he's just like he's like nah fuck it I need to be bigger and then like they Yoked. cut and he just he works out for the six month intermission between the, the fucking <laughs> filming of the movie and he comes back and he's just like Ugh! looking like the Hulk mm, I like it yeah let's do it Hulk robot Hollywood do well, it was, the other rumor was that like it was kind of like a almost say a bidding war between like DC and Marvel trying to get him on one of their flagships. Obviously, DC is one out. But, I'm going to pose this question. Who do you guys think he would play in a, in a Marvel movie? What hero would he play in a Marvel movie? Uh, in, a, in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Because hmm. he's obviously going to be Black Adams, who's kind of like a really big anti-hero, who I think he's going to do an amazing job with. Honestly, he looks like Venom, physically. He looks like Venom, but Venom's like... Anti-Venom. Ooh, he could be anti-Venom. Because they wouldn't have to CGI him. They could just give him a white suit. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to paint you white yeah. <laughs> with a black spider on you. In the Marvel Universe. That. I don't know. He's not another, like, he's not, he doesn't look like any of the flagship characters. No. You know, just, Ooh, you know Spider-Man. That, and, I, I think this is more obscure character. Hercules. Or Ares, I mean. Is it Ares or Hercules? It's Hercules? They have both. Okay. They have both in the Marvel Universe. You could play. And they've both been Avengers, actually. I... I Dark That's actually a good one. Ares would be good for him, the God of War, because he looks, because he's a bald, gruff, jacked dude in you know the Marvel universe, and he's actually was in Tony Stark's Avengers after, uh, you know, he put the team back together like some years ago. After the Shovel War. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find a good picture. Wow. Beard? I don't think I've ever seen him with a facial hair. He's had a beard. Yeah. Yeah, The Rock. He had a beard in Hercules. Yeah, it was a fa- that was a that was a fake yeah, beard. Yeah, I was gonna say it was fake. That was a fake beard, but he has had a beard. He does grow a beard in real life, though. Hmm. But uh, I was gonna say, 
Yeah, you can kind of see what he looks like here. He's got the little Trojan helmet on, but he, uh, I don't know. He looks pretty badass. I think he could do it. Plus, he looks like he could be kind of Greek, possibly. But Deathlock, I think, would be a good one for him. It's kind of an obscure. He's like Honestly, a. He could be. Uh, what's Slade Wilson's? Deathstroke. 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 In, in DC. Yeah. If he wasn't playing uh, Black so, Adam, I think he could be. I don't know. He's Maybe. Just so yoked. He's a little yeah. too big after that. I feel like. Like he could be Bane, honestly. Like. Wow, he could be Bane. That'd be a good one. That would be. That would have been a good one. Oh, can you see his ass tossing around all Twilight Batman? Oh, he could <laughs> actually break, break, it. <laughs> break his spine. <laughs> It'd be that fucking Hulk Loki scene, just. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he fucking his ass up. That fucking uh, <laughs> that Adult Swim, like the Batman gets picked up and his back snapped every five seconds. Why the fuck? are you doing that? <laughs> He's like, pick him up and... <laughs> I broke you. It's like the second day of filming in the Rocks on set. It's like, uh, Robert Pattinson sent to ER. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who would play... We need, there hasn't been a Batman... Like the, I want to see a live-action Dark Knight Returns because they did the Frank Miller comic, mm -hmm. uh, like the animated film. But I'd like to see... Yeah. And The Rock, to me, fits that build of an older Batman. He's not lithe and young anymore, so he has to rely on his intelligence and his strength over... Be his yeah. speed and his, his agility. Yeah. Um, I could see I it. I think I and people get people got mad at me. We brought it, we were talking about it in the office the other day. People were like, "Who's like key? Bat like, who's like the iconic Batman?" And they're all like, uh, "Michael Keaton." And I was like, "I think you know physically, it was Ben Affleck. He looks like the Batman. Big ass chin, broad chest, broad shoulders, six four. Yeah, yeah. big, handsome, handsome dude. dude. Yeah." I agree. I agree. Now, acting wise, I love you, Benny, but uh, go do another dare. If you <laughs> have, <laughs> all right, well, you could have. I know we're getting off track, but Michael Keaton, as yoked as Ben Affleck was, and as tall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the size okay. of Ben Affleck with. Yeah, I think Michael Keaton's a stronger actor for that type of role. Yeah, for sure. With, yes. Uh, what do you call it? Christian Bale's voice. Yeah. Mm, Adam West voice. Yes. Adam West. <laughs> well, that was swell. <laughs> Pal. Yes. Yowza. Yeah. I miss Adam West. Um, R.I.P. Adam West. Yeah. Adam West. Oh my God. Adam West. Back to, Adam West. Back to the Rock. West. Back, back to, to the rock. rock. So, what's movies that we want to see him in? I want to see Jungle Cruise. I think that looks amazing. Yep. Um, I would like to see him... I'd watch a, another Jumanji film. Yeah. I think they're going to make a trilogy out of this one. If I'm right. Yeah, I'm on board. I want to see him do something with Ryan Reynolds. Is there a Deadpool villain that looks like? Like if they did Deadpool 3? Deadpool kind of goes up with other people's villains, honestly. Uh, Just make him a gender think, bent death. I think he would have made a good cable. I was just about to say that. Yeah. I think he would have been a good cable. Because Brolin's a big, big I know dude. Brolin's, a, Brolin's a good actor and he's a big dude now. And he kind of looks like him. Going off he the does. comics, yeah. I, I think but I think he would have been a good... Yeah. But Rock would have been... He's But in the comics, he's much bigger. Physically bigger than Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a huge dude. Deadpool's, he's a big old dude. Deadpool's a twink to that guy. Yeah. He's a really big okay. guy. Didn't they have like a thing going too? I think canonically, like they had a thing going. I know they had their I think own comic. Thing with everybody. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the that's the running joke. Yeah. He's just he Deadpool fucks wants everyone to get in and Spider -Man everything. Ass. And who? Spider -Man. Spider Man. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Didn't they like make a reference to the internet? They're like, if only the internet saw us now, because he was like on Spider Man's yeah. back while he was climbing up, and he's yeah. like, you would not believe what the internet would draw of us if they saw this. <laughs> Some shit like that. They are and actually. Like, what the fuck? They are going to bring a live action Hercules in the MCU. Should we start a petition? For the Rock to do it? Like, hey, look, He's this is your. Up the first this Hercules is your chance to do Hercules right. Oh. I don't even know how else you get to play him. I mean, like a list Jason actor. Momoa. A list actor wise. He's already. No, already no, 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 no. Momoa better fucking be Craven the Hunter, or I'm going to fucking like kill myself. But he's already in the new Spider-Man. 
That's in DC. Wait, he can Craven's do this. Marvel? Craven's Marvel. Oh, Spider- I'm looking Spider- forward Spider-Man to Miller. seeing him in uh, as Duncan Idaho in the new yeah the new Dune. Dune. We have the technology to do Dune right now. And it's going to be amazing, I think. But I think he would do a good Hercules in the Marvel MCU. Like I said, like I said who else is going to play a Hercules cap character? You know? Yeah, you have to have somebody huge. Yeah, they got to be a big and a physically imposing guy, or have the potential to get big. But like as far as people that they haven't tapped yet. I'd like to see him as Lex Luthor, and I know that sounds weird because Lex Luthor is typically a bald white guy, but he's also a bald big guy. ass dude. Yeah. Like Lex Luthor is large; he's as big as Superman. Hmm. I don't you know. ever watch the the anime the uh, the Justice League animated series? I feel it's strange series, that they yeah. would make him that way because it's like their dynamic is that you know. I just don't think Mark Zuckerberg was a good. No, no, <laughs> was a good yeah, Lex definitely Luthor. not. Lex yeah, but Eisenberg. what isn't Lex Luthor the one who relies on his like? Brain? Cunning, yeah, and yeah. like all that shit. So and why he does he need up? to be big? Yeah, how are you gonna fight Superman with your brain? You can't do that. Fucking Superman will punch you with your tech, obviously. The <laughs> yeah. shit that you make, like Batman does, like he fucking makes a suit to yeah, beat the shit yeah, out of that's Superman. Pretty, yeah. That's what. Luke, so that's what Luke the whole end game series was: is him fighting the. Was or the else he League, can pull you know. a Joker in Arkham Asylum and fucking take some Titan bullshit and. Clobber the fuck out of him. I still yeah. think Bane would have been a good, spine. good Bane choice for him. Be, yeah, Bane would have been. Yeah, really he would have been a terrific Bane. However, I just, especially because he just, looks. We need to see him tested. The thing. The oh, rock is the thing. I'm going to get a little golf clap for Ooh. that. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Like, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. That's one way to get the Fantastic Four off the ground and off the ground again. Yeah. They need to, like, I know it's the whole comics thing, but they can't do the bright orange rock. I just, I can't. Make it dull like, orange. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, a more stone looking thing, not a bright ass fucking orange. Looking like, like yeah. Gravel or the Pokemon uh, coming out of nowhere. Fantastic <laughs> Four with, like, fucking the first Fantastic Four they made, it, it kind of makes it work, but at the same time, it's just like. All right, hear weird. me out. Hear me out. New Fantastic Four cast. The rock is the thing. John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, Emily Blunt as Invisible Woman, Zac Efron as the Human Torch. Uh, Emily oh. Blunt and Zac Efron are supposed to be brother and sister? Yeah, why not? Yeah? I don't know. I don't see them looking like at all related. I I would watch I that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if Zac Efron's is the, my final... Yeah, that's, no, that's, no, just no. A, that's a soft song. Zac Efron, his... Snark isn't genuine. It's very contrived, and it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be the same as Chris Evans as fucking the torch. Well, yeah, that's and the, the point, though. Chris I mean, Evans as the torch was like the best. That's like the one character in the movie that I actually enjoyed. Yeah, but they're gonna, they're gonna do it. They are doing it. I don't think there's been a single comic book movie with Chris Evans that I didn't like. I like yeah. The Losers a lot. The Losers too. is good. That's on the new uh, HBO Max thing too. Oh, okay. You gotta watch that. That was a good one. Thank you, HBO. Um, oh, well, so, so who would be the human torch in that, the rocks? Fantastic I don't know. Movie? So I'm trying to rack my brain. It's got to be somebody alive. Somebody it's got to be like someone a, rock. Like a... Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he could be, I mean, they wanted would be, a black torch. He could so. be the... Uh, I don't think his back will hold out. He Kevin fell Hart. off a damn cliff. Kevin Hart could be the uh, doorman in the Fantastic Four's plaza. Oh, hey, my God. what the fuck God, is going on here? That would be funny. Yeah. Who could play the torch? That's an interesting question. That's a, we should answer that. We're, next we're gonna week. we're gonna put Zach Efron as a placeholder. If I anybody has a suggestion, let us know in the comments or anything. The bitch to be the Human Torch. Yeah, yeah, can we go back in time and get young David Spade? <laughs> 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 Oof. Uh, Oof. Comic bent. We're just gonna get fucking uh, Will Ferrell. Oh my god, no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. He's not gonna be a lady killer. Will Ferrell Tom, cannot be a lady killer. Tom Holland could do it if he wasn't already Spider Man. Yeah, he's too really, short. He's too, like, he's too tiny. innocent. Looking. I want you to realize something about film Cagney. Uh, John <laughs> Reese Davies played Gimli the Dwarf, and he is like 6'5. And yeah. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> way fucking bigger than everybody else in that movie, and they made him look like a he dwarf. Just, he just. Like I said, Got on make, his knees. What are you They did make about? Chris Evans look tiny in Captain America. True. Deep so, fakes. Yeah. Which is, I thought it was weird because like, I knew it wasn't real because like his head was way too goddamn big for his body. <laughs> well, I mean, have you seen anorexic people and like people who suffer from that? They're fucking. Their heads don't. It look looks that like much bigger, they're. Though. 
I, I mean, you haven't seen enough of him, I guess, but although, although he wasn't anorexic, he was just tiny. Yeah. So my, my, it makes sense. I still stand by my point. If you want to get the Fantastic Four off the ground, make Rock. The Rock come into the Marvel Universe yeah. as the thing. Yeah. <laughs> As I don't thing. know why. The, just, the revelation hit me so fast. That was really I would, good. I would even watch him as uh, Doctor Doom. You don't even have to show him his face, but if he just like plays Doctor Doom in like that bulky ass bulky. suit. I don't know if he or, could pull off the accent though. Or the Latvian. He could be the next villain for Black Panther. Ooh. That Ooh. would be pretty Ooh. cool. There is a villain that kind of looked as big and imposing like him called Manape. Might be a little too. Yeah, that might be a too little too. Man ape. Man ape. Man ape. <laughs> it's funny because he's a big white. He's a big black mm. dude in a white ape costume. What the hell? Wait, Albino what? ape. Co- I don't know. Is I'll that show. the fucking? I don't need to see it. That sounds lame. Isn't that, nope. Um. Um. What's the guy's name? Mayonnaise. <laughs> no. The fucking. Yep. Umbaka see? or some shit. Umbaku. Like, yeah. Umbaku. Yeah. Okay. That guy. Yeah. That's just him. That's him, but I'm saying, like, as a villain-wise, like... Why was he a villain? He's not a villain. In the movie, they turn him into a good guy. He's another Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tribe. So why would they make him a villain in the next fucking movie? I'm just saying, like, it's just Jared the, if it's the Rock. That guy. If it's the Jared Rock... Terry Crews could be that fucking... Could be fucking man I don't <laughs> man know, though. I think it's too, like, insensitive in a way. Like, I know it's a costume oh, yeah. or whatever, but I don't think that they're going to go for it. Well, the character was made back in, like, the 60s or 70s. Yeah, when, so, like, you know. they're not going to go for it. But I think The Rock would be a vis- very physically imposing villain like that. The yeah. ultimate showdown, a movie with Dude. The Rock versus Terry Crews. Could you imagine, <laughs> like, one of those dope-ass villain reveals, like, that's super dark and, like, with The Rock, like, turning and shit, like... Oh, that would be dope. Dude, The Rock could have made a good Thanos. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that would have been... Mm. Just, put him, just put him, paint him purple. Just paint him purple? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, he could play any of Bro- Brolin's characters. Like, any of them. And probably do it better. I will say, I think Brolin is a better actor. But oh, yeah. physically, like, phys- like the physical imposing. casting, The Rock would have, been, would have looked better in the roles. Yeah. Although, I mean, The Rock's a pretty good actor, at least from Jumanji. Yeah, so. I, I really think that was a good He is good, range. but there's like there's like levels. Like, I think he's more a stereotype actor. Because like, in those movies, it's more of a like very interesting personality type that you have to portray. Whereas you can't do like nuances between yeah. characters. That's why I think we need to see him... They need to test him as like a... Serial killer or something like he needs yeah. to be an actual that dark would be ass fucking dude. the strangler, cool. literally strangles people the with strangler. his giant man arms. They can, and if they can still keep it in the comedy <laughs> vein. They can do the Scranton strangler, Ooh. and make it in the rocks. John Scranton. Krasinski, I told you. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, that'd be dude. funny. That would have been a good Easter egg. Have the Rock as the Scranton strangler in the office. <laughs> it was everybody knows it was Toby. Yeah. Wait. That was a thing? Did anyone actually die? Or it was a... No, it's in, oh. the, it's in the show. Oh. Well, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, I know in the show. Did someone Nobody die in the show? show? So, nobody no. from the show dies. No. So they talk about the Scranton Stranger being out there. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched enough of The Office. Yeah. I don't think I've done that too, but... All right. Do we have any closing comments for The Rocks episode? Mm. Ah! <laughs> no. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how his career pans out and uh, his movies coming down the pipes. Look pretty good. The Rock needs to be a villain. He does need to be a villain. Yes, make him. A, I like that. Make him a serial killer. That I stand by my comment cool. of like like she said, him as a thing. Yeah. If you want to see people actually get behind a Fantastic Four for once, you know, for more than oh, two yeah. movies, that would like, totally reel them in, dude. Like, yeah. and that would be a sort of like diversity thing that no one would care about. Like, yeah, they would be into it because no one fucking. I cares. think that, I think that's the thing. But they I think they would care because of that. Well, no, 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 I'm saying, like, the whole... They wouldn't get you mad. You know, people wouldn't get fucking butthurt, like, oh, he's supposed to be white. No, he's a fucking rock, dude. Like, just just fucking go with it. It the works. Rock plays rocks it in works. Movies. <laughs> you just <laughs> got that? That's what I was going to The rock plays a rock. The rock as a rock. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, that's the it. The rock is a right. rock. All right, and on that, we're going to close this episode. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Drop us a like or comment. And as always, thank you to Jake, wow. Ryan, yep, and Tor for joining us. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace. See you later.
Thank you.